Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And uh, I said I would do some testing of the reception capability of these two radios. The TVDO V115 versus the Hanronda K-607. And I was going to test it on AM, FM, and try to do shortwave. And I did some testing. And I'm going to try to give you the results. Now, it took me a long time to do this testing because the method I used is I used the ATS function of these radios, the automatic tuning and storing function to search the bands. And that takes a long time, especially on short wave. That takes a really long time. So that's what I did. Whether that's scientific or not, I don't know. To do a similar test, manually tuning through the bands using the buttons would take forever. So I wasn't about to do that. But I would have, most likely, picked up more stations because the ATS function goes through, it tunes to a station, and it only listens for a brief period of time to declare whether there's a strong signal, be it noise or a broadcast, before it stores it, then it goes on. And you can do a, an ATS several times and get different results. I only did it one time for each band, again, because it took a long time. And here's the results. Okay, let me find it right here. Here's my spreadsheet. I'll blow it up a little bit so you can see it a little better. Well, I'll try to. There we go. Okay, so here is the AM medium wave function using ATS function to find stations. And here's the TVDO. And here's the frequency it found. And here's the other radio and the frequency it found. Did it, did it find these same frequencies or not? Or did it find additional frequencies? In all cases, the Han Ronda didn't find additional frequencies that the TVO, TVDO found. So here's the results for AM. Here's the frequencies. It found 14 stations. Now, again, this is very empirical data. I could do this test a dozen times and find different frequencies beginning on depending on band conditions and just whether the radio ATS function grabbed on to a frequency or not the I might call it the K607 that's easier to pronounce it found all but three of the ones that T TVDO found but I was able to thought I had a note yeah there's my note down there, way down there. Okay, why well, won't it go over all the way? Oh boy, there, there, no. For some reason it won't go all the way. But anyway, here is uh, what I found is that if I manually went back and tuned these stations, I got it eventually on the K607. So it got all three. So it was just the AT function, ATS function on the 607 didn't catch it when I did that one pass. So I would say they're pretty much equivalent. Now, here is FM. I found a lot of FM stations. Look at that. 30 stations on the TVDO. And on the K607, I found 28 and two, again, that it missed, I could tune it manually. Okay, here's, didn't get much on shortwave. Of course, shortwave band now is in the toilet. I was using the built-in little short telescopic antenna. I was up in my office with a lot of RF noise, so didn't get very good results. And I did it about 7.30 this morning. 
So the TVO captured during the ATS function two stations. Again, the 70, uh, 607 did not capture those during ATS, but I was able to manually tune them. Then I noticed when the radio was tuned to a shortwave station, like for instance, I tuned it to this one here that I didn't find under the ATS function. If I leave it tuned there, I can hear the signal come up slowly until it's a good, it's a good signal. So that is the shortfall, and I've seen this on other radios. That's a shortfall of ATS. It's trying to get through this scan as quickly as possible so it doesn't linger long. So unless it's a really strong signal, and these are um, digital tuning radios. So digital tuning on these cheaper radios take a lot little time to respond. That's what I call muting while tuning. So if you're tuning these radios for inch manually, you can't just hold the tune button down or turn the tuning knob. You have to tune it a little bit, let it bring up that signal, and then you might hear a station. So that's what I think I saw here, and it seemed to be more prevalent in the 607. It was prevalent here, prevalent here, and prevalent here. Three here, two here, and two here. So even though it's not a scientific test, it does give you some indication that the TVDO and the K607 are very similar. Now, I did find some other functions that were slightly different on the two radios. And one thing, I was blown away because I could not figure it out. And there's nothing in the manuals of how to, on the TVDO, how to get it out of ATS mode once it's found some frequencies. So what happens is once it's found these frequencies and they were all stored in memory, I couldn't get it out of memory mode. And I couldn't find anything in the manual, either its manual or the K-607 manual. How to get it out of mode? Now, with the K-607, when I turned the radio off and back on, it was then in manual tuning mode, and I could manually tune through the frequencies. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. Is If anybody has experience with the V115 with this problem, let me know. Either way, whether you got the problem or you know the fix, There's some, there should be some way to get it out of that mode. I tried everything, every button, read the manual three or four times, couldn't figure it out. And there was nothing in the K607 to get it out. It just, you got out of it by turning it off and on. I tried that with the V115, no good. I took the batteries out, left them out, no good. As long as it had stuff stored in memory, it stayed in the memory tuning mode. Now, what I did do is I did manually go through these and I deleted them one at a time. And then it went into manual mode. But that was a hassle. Where here, on the uh, 607, I did not have to do that. So that was one of the quirks. Uh, so also, some of the buttons on the bottom for changing the uh, frequency and changing uh, when you're playing music to change the track, uh, they're slightly rearranged on the two radios. Not a big deal, but they're just in different spots. Lastly, when I went into the setup mode on the TVDL, at the top of the list of things you could change, it had B, I think it was 1.2, meaning version 1.2. I think that's what it was, with some number. And when I did that on the K607, 
There was nothing up there. So they don't want you to know the version number. So I'm thinking that the K607 is a different version of the firmware. And maybe this problem with getting out of memory mode, memory mode tuning, was fixed on the 607. I'm just speculating. That's it. I'd love to hear some comments. Um, I don't plan to do any more additional testing. It looks like the radios in general are the same. That's it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye-bye.